It's Bourbonite. It's a flight fight. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And Sarah, I looked back to see what the first 10 year uh, bourbon flight fight we did had in it. Come to find out, we, we never, never did. We one. never did one. This is our first 10 year uh, flight fight. Can you believe it? I can't. I, I guess you couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sarah, what's in this one? In this flight, we have Henry McKenna bottled and bond at 100 proof, Russell's Reserve 10 year at 90 proof. Eagle Rare, also at 90 proof, and the newcomer, Old Forester 1924, at 100 proof. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we've got some price differences, some availability differences across the spectrum there. You know, the Old Forester 1924 being a newer, mm -hmm. more limited release, also at the highest price point. Then you've got the Russell's 10, which is pretty much available everywhere on the shelves at a more affordable price point. Around 30 bucks. Now, the McKenna and the Eagle Rare should be more affordable, but they are almost impossible to find. And when you do, they're well, a limit one. Yeah. And when you do, they're more expensive than what we're used yeah. to seeing. We haven't seen McKenna kind of make a return. It's mm. usually around that $60 plus range, which I think is now like it's maybe it's close to its MSRP. Okay. Uh, the Eagle Rare should be 45 bucks, but, but we typically see it between 60 and $100 in our area. It'll be interesting to see uh, what the Russell's Reserve, you know, the Russell's 10 mm -hmm. can do against some of these that are more coveted, a little harder to find. True. A little more expensive, so. Let's get into it then. All right, start yeah. with Bourbon A. Yep, that is a nose that I enjoy. Ooh, it's rich and, and sort of a mm -hmm. uh, stone fruitish. I was gonna say stone fruit, purple fruit. <laughs> purple, yeah, purple fruit, it smells purple, yeah. Plums, uh, grapes, blackberries kind of thing. Ooh, maybe a little bit of, um, Oak, maybe a little bit of leather. A hint of I mean, oak. And I, I feel like it's 10 years old. Oh, you think it's 10? Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's either, it's between 90 and 100 proof. Oh, how do we do it? Huh. Those like oh. stone fruity notes carrying through the palate, which is yeah. just a hint of spice. Mm -hmm. Everything on the nose is, is in that palate. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, a little bit of leather also. It's nice, a nice place to start. Nice oak. Mm -hmm. For 10 years, very nice oak actually. Yeah, I feel like that's a solid place to start. Mmm. Uh-oh. This is going to be a tricky one. <laughs> also good, but very different. Totally different on the nose. Brighter. Yeah, I get a little bit of that brightness and maybe a little bit more earthy notes on mm. this one. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Okay. Oh, also oak in there, but a different, um, I mean, just a younger oak. Mm. I, I feel like this one, compared to A, tastes more like its age. Like, yeah. I could see this is 10 years, whereas the other one, I probably would have guessed, you know, a little higher, 12 to 14. 12, yeah, mm -hmm. that's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking. I think this one also might go a little dry to the finish. Yep, um, I was just picking up on that. And and uh, more spice. More, more spice, black yeah. black pepper on this mm -hmm. guy, for sure. Second sip, though. I feel the same way on the second sip. Yeah, me too. It's good. It's not as complex as the first one. Mm -hmm. Not as great of a mouthfeel, but still very solid. Very. This nose is different. <laughs> not as um, fragrant. Fragrant as the as other the two. As the others, yeah. Yeah, a little muted on the nose. Hmm. I get a hint of floral. Yeah, more floral than the other two. Not as much oak, not as much perception of age on the nose yeah. anyway. All right. All right then. Seems to fall a little flat. It does. Compared to the others. It doesn't have as much like viscosity. It's a little thinner. Is this one of the 90 proofers? Maybe. My guess would be yes, but I don't know. It's kind of coming across that way. I mean, still a decent amount of oak there. Mm -hmm. But not as rich, not, not as, as rich. Um, complex, fulfilling. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's got some spice that builds towards the finish, which yeah. is you know nice. The finish does kind of build up a little bit. A um, little black pepper, a little clove. But other than that, mm. Mm. ooh. Hmm. Also earthy, but in a in a sort of a different type of way. Mm. More. Um, I get a little desserty notes on this one. Yeah, more so like, like a sort of coffee, more like chocolate. Hmm. Maybe a chocolate coffee combination. Okay. I do like it. Yeah. All right. Oh. Mouthfeel. Yeah, mouthfeel. And also a little bit more of a oily. A fruit element. A little on bit of the fruit. palate that wasn't really there on the nose. A little fruit, a little oak. Mm hmm A little grapey, Tiny cherry. Bit of spice, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that spice now kind of coming on. I like the texture. Mm -hmm. I like the proof. All right, well, that's the end of round one. Of course, you know, we go back, we do round two. Things can change in round mm. two, but we need to take a little break, let our palates kind of return to room temperature. But while we wait, we have something we want to talk to you about. Yeah, I mean, we are all busy. We all live busy lives, and we can't afford to waste a day stuck on the couch because of a few drinks the night before. Z-Biotics is the answer that we've been looking for. Z-Biotics Pre-Alcohol Probiotic is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to help you feel better the morning after drinking. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. 
It's this byproduct, not dehydration, to blame for your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. Just remember to make Zbiotics your first drink of the night, drink responsibly, and you'll feel your best tomorrow. I mean, we took one before we began this flight because we actually have a trip that we have to leave for super early tomorrow morning, so yeah. we cannot be feeling bad uh, after these drinks. One bottle of Zbiotics is equal to the cost of your favorite cocktail, but nothing beats the price of a fresh morning. Go to zbiotics.com slash bourbonite or scan the QR code on the screen right now to get 15% off your first order when you use bourbonite at checkout. You can also use our code for a subscription so you can stay prepared no matter the time or occasion. Zbiotics is backed with a 100% money back guarantee, so if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. Remember to head to zbiotics.com slash bourbonite and use the code bourbonite at checkout for 15% off. Thanks to Zbiotics for sponsoring this episode and for sponsoring our good time. All right, back at it. It's round two, back on bourbon A. I mean, coming back from round one, I still think this is probably my favorite nose. Yeah, it's a good nose. It's really good. I just love that like rich, fruity, berry, lightly spiced, lightly oat. That's just, it's just—it's mm. savory while also being sort sweet. of desserty and sweet. Yeah, it's just—it's a great nose. The taste ain't half bad either. No, yeah. <laughs> I feel the same way as I did the first time. Yeah, this one definitely. Now that we've had all four, has the most perception of age. Of age, I think so too. I yeah. really get the oak on this one, but it's a nice balance with the other flavors that are going on mm -hmm. there. Yeah, get a little bit chocolate on it this mm. time in the back end. Okay, I like the nose on this a little better this yeah, time. Me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it, you know, kind of opened up a little. Yeah, B showing up. Still with that little mm. bit of earthiness mm -hmm. um, and brightness, but. Much more comparable to the nose on A, yeah, the second round. the second round. Oh, I like it much better now. Mm-hmm, gotta agree. Might be A and B now. Ooh, yeah, I with, don't know, we'll see how uh, I don't wanna, Bourbon I don't, D held yeah, up. Yeah, I don't wanna speak too soon. Not to count out C. It's more rich and full it now is more that it's earthy. been sitting. Mm -hmm. It does have that black pepper. I think we said that on the first time, mm. didn't we, black pepper? I'm getting less dryness on the finish now mm -hmm. than I was the first round. Yeah. Okay. It's good. The just, most muted nose. Yeah, just not quite there in the nose mm. department, is it? Not quite. I mean, it's fine, but not much to say. Like it's good, it's fine, but the other two are a step up. It's the flight fight effect. The flight fight effect. If I'm sure if I had this by itself, I'd be like, this is great. I think this is a great pour. Yeah, um, absolutely. But next to A and B, it definitely kind of, you know, <laughs> shines a light on it mm -hmm. in a way. Still like that nose too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think B may have pulled ahead of this one in the nose. It did, it did. <laughs> yeah, it's not as like rich and sugary on the nose. As B. Ooh, who saw that one coming? Not me. Not me. That's why we do two rounds. Hmm. How the tables have turned. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Now bourbon D, comparatively to maybe A and B, um, is feeling a little flatter. A little bit, a little bit. A little bit, I've heard things. Okay. Now's that most fun part when we A, B mm. test, and I don't mean just A and B, <laughs> but put things uh, that we hadn't tried against each other before. A, B, C, D you test. Know, we A, B, C, D test uh, and kind of start our ranking, which we'll speed up for you because it's gonna take a little bit. Yeah, but yeah. It's, it's where we talk to uh, our patrons though. Yeah. yeah, tell them what we're thinking. <laughs> so we'll see you in results time. It's results time. And we shockingly have the same order. Um, as our patrons saw, we did not really speak about it as we were doing it. We did it at first, but then when we got to our final lineup, I turned mine away from Chad and then he got his and then we compared notes. We arrived at the same place. Same conclusion. Uh, Doesn't surprise me. Independently, which we like to do. We, we try not to influence each other. I don't other. want to influence you. I don't yeah. want to influence anyone. I mean, I, <laughs> But you're little. such an influencer. Oh, shh. Influencer of the year. Ew. Uh. I mean, I do love that. <laughs> Don't do <eat> it. <laughs> <laughs> shall we, as we always do, uh, reveal our last place? I think we shall. Okay. We both put uh, Bourbon C in last place, mm -hmm. which is... Now, it's the Eagle Rare. Wow. I don't know. That's not what I expected. But I we both agreed either. first time and second time through that... Dang. That was not not the one. I mean, you know, we we say this all the time. Fight fights aren't trying to guess what we're drinking, but in the back of my mind, I was kind of thinking it was the Russell's Ten. I don't know what I thought, but I didn't think that it tasted traditionally like Buffalo Trace. Well, I mean, I did think it was a ninety proofer. I guess I was right there. Uh, yeah, I did um, think it was lower proof, but I did not think it tasted like I, Buffalo Trace. Uh, yeah, me either. Wow. Well, already there's an upset. Oh, okay. I, th I think. Okay. <laughs> all right. So we put both put in third place. Bourbon D, and Bourbon D is... 
the McKenna 10 bond and bond. This is very surprising. This is wow. not, not the results I expected. No, me either. But you know what? It's fine. I love it when that happens. I so. love it when that happens. Makes it more interesting. We learned something new today. This is why we do flight fights. So that means our most expensive in this flight and our least expensive in this flight are in the top two. So let's uh, just go for number one. Let's see what number one that is. That way you'll know what number two is, second place. They were closer than I thought the second round through. B yeah. really improved a lot. The, we said most improved. Um, I can't remember if that was in the Patreon part. Or I think if it was, was in the, the Patreon episode. part. We said most improved player at second round was B. Bourbon B. But we picked Bourbon A is our favorite. And the winner is... It's the Russell's tenure. I'm so glad. Wow. wow. <laughs> so not only is it the 90 proofer, it's the least expensive. And the most readily available. And we were saying, Oh, it tastes more like 12, well, I said. You said it 12 tastes, to I mean, 14, like, who knows that? There could be older stuff in there. Absolutely. Wow. 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 So, well, uh, just so you know, second place B is. The Old Forester. The Old Forester 1924. Considering most that improved. That's, that that's most improved. That that's a limited release. That it is the most expensive in the flight. I would expect it to come in towards the top, but I would okay. not have expected the Russells to beat it. But man, oh, that little Russells that could. You the know little I mean? Russells that could, uh, that is true. Wow, this is an upset, but one I'm happy to see. An upset during March Madness? <laughs> Who would have thought? An upset and yet a victory. Because a victory. of these four, it is the most readily available. It is the least expensive. Man, that's wild. Didn't see that one coming. I would drink either of these, wow. you know, really any of these all day, but definitely, <laughs> what a shock. What a shock. If, if you can try this at home, I'd suggest you do it because yeah. I would love to know. Mm -hmm. oh. Or any other, you know, 10 year. There's, 10 year. there's Bullet 10 year. There's um, there's Heaven's Door 10 year. There's, of course, Mictor's 10 year. There's other 10 years out there. The more I go back to B, the closer it gets between them. But both times through, first pass, A was my favorite. And usually A gets the short end of the stick because it has to go first. Yeah. I feel like it, all, it usually gets discounted because. Mm -hmm. You know. Anyways. Wow. Well, there we go. Hopefully, you find that helpful. <laughs> uh, if you need a bottle to take to a party and you don't want to spend more than thirty-five bucks, yeah, with tax, then yeah. uh, oh. I would suggest Russell's ten. Russell's ten ninety proof. Yeah. Well, there we go, folks. There um, we have it. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to this rating, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Until next time, drink more bourbon. Mm -hmm.